The fans that filled the seats behind me during the game had a perfect vantage point to see a game where neither team could get into a rhythm on the court and a lot of turnovers. Neither team really got up and down without a whistle blowing. And, and so I think mean, sometimes it's tough to get your transition game going when it's like that. Um, but yeah, it just was kind of unusual. I was surprised one time I looked at the clock and we were up 18 and I didn't feel like we were. You know, I felt like that's how you want. You want your players to kind of be in that zone where they don't think about the score, they just think about the next play. Morgan Johnson was in that zone. The senior center finished with 24 points, 9 boards and 5 blocks, but only one other Hawkeye scored double figures, making a normally balanced attack not so balanced. We don't want to be one-dimensional. We're a team that really tries to have more balanced scoring, and today we didn't have that balanced scoring. We only had two people in double figures. So we still want to get that balance on our team because that's going to make us harder to guard in the end. But in a game with 45 fouls called and 40 total turnovers, Iowa will take points and a win any way they can. We're going to try to do it whatever way we can. And we're not like sold that we have to be a team that gets it inside or we have to hit the threes. You know, we had free throws tonight and we got to the free throw line and we converted that. So we don't care how we get the points. Uh, that's the most important thing is that we get them. You could say the game came down to this, the free throw line. The Hawkeyes made more than the Redbirds took and that's why you practice them. At Carver Hawkeye Arena, Zach Hanley, Fox 28 Sports.